Hey guys, it's Friday, and uh, I guess we'll just jump right in. I really like the themes for the week idea, just because that would always give us something to talk about. I've been trying to think of ideas myself so we can kind of have a list so like we can just kind of choose from them like at the start of every new week. That way like Matt doesn't always get stuck having to choose this theme just because he's Monday. As far as the morals and ethics discussions that we've had this week, I pretty much agree with what everybody's already said so far. For me the bottom line is that regardless of the project, the approval has to be there no matter like who it needs to be given from, whether it's the person like be tested on or their parents or who uh, whatever it just it, it needs to be there somehow by whomever needs to give it other than that I pretty much agree with what's already been said so I won't go too much deeper into that I will however give you guys a childhood story as requested this story is probably the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me as a child <laughs> basically short story I saw my grandma naked. Long story. So at one point when I was a kid, my grandparents were visiting for a few days and while they were like talking to my parents or doing whatever, um, me and my siblings were in the basement playing with dolls or Legos or whatever. It was a big basement. We had a lot of toys. We were doing something down there. And at the time we had a cat and this cat happened to have some cat toys. And if you know anything about cat toys, you know that they're usually like mouse based in some way. And I hate mice and rats and everything that goes into that category. I have no idea why, it's just a thing. But the point is we had these cat toys and they were like, it was like the face of a rat and then they had a colorful tail. And my siblings decided that it would be a fun idea to pick one of these up and like chase me around the basement. And so I was running away, obviously, because I didn't want them to touch me with the creepy mouse toy thing. So I was running and eventually this chase escalated out of the basement and upstairs and around the house and my first thought was to go into my sister's room because that was the only bedroom with a lock and I was like I'll go in there, I'll lock the door and I'll just stay in there. When I got there the door was closed but I didn't think anything of it, I just went on in and when I went in, naked grandma. Turns out uh, my grandma had been taking a shower and at the moment that I had walked into the room, she had just, like, left the bathroom, but hadn't yet put on a towel. So... The weirdest part of the story, at least for me, is the ending, because nothing happened, really. I just kind of awkwardly left the room and then went into my room and she sat on my bed for a while and my sister eventually came in with the cat toy and like she was taunting me and I just sat there like under the covers like fine do whatever you have to do I've seen worse things so that happened perhaps that gives you a better look into my life and that's pretty much all I have this week so Matt I eagerly await seeing what the surprise is on Monday, and you guys will see me next Friday. Bye!